The Spring Grove Lions are 1-0 after a 20-18 win over Olden Conger Glenville Emmons last Friday night. Head coach Cody Moore joining us. And Cody, uh, we saw the result uh, after looking at the film. What did you see? Well, you know, I told the guys after the game Friday night, it maybe wasn't the, the prettiest win ever in Spring Grove football history, but it was a win. Um, you know, we were... We were sloppy, I thought, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, a lot of pre-snap penalties and things of that nature. Um, I think we ended up with 10 penalties. And so, you know, the nice part about that is there are things that we can fix, uh, whether that's a focus issue or just kind of getting those first game nerves out of the way. I think that was maybe a little bit of a part of it. But, you know, there were bright spots too. Uh, we were able to move the ball through the air fairly effectively. I thought uh, ACGE did a good job of uh, really stacking the box and make it hard on our run game. And uh, so we kind of had to go to the air, and that was um, something that Bryce did a nice job of. Um, ben Oudstoon and Zach Brum had big games at the receiver spot, uh, and we were able to do just enough there to be effective. Um, you know, defensively, I thought we did a nice job as well. We only gave up a couple scores. Uh, the other score that they had was actually on a fumble return. So – um, you know, there were bright spots there too, obviously a lot of things to fix and, you know, you always hope to see big time improvement from game one to game two. And so that's what we'll look for. You mentioned uh, the passing game, Bryce put up some nice numbers, but Bryce also was a pretty big factor on the defensive side of the ball. What has allowed him to elevate his game this year and become uh, that much more of a complete football player? Well, number one, Darren, uh, having that experience of, you know, playing a full season last year, I think it just builds confidence. And then he worked, he worked tremendously hard in the off season. He put in a lot of time. Um, you know, I think he put on about 20 pounds and just really worked hard in the weight room. And I think that goes a long way as well. Um, but just playing aggressive, you know, on both sides of the ball, um, he was our leading tackler with 12 tackles, which you don't always want your safety to be your leading tackler. That's not always a great sign, but at the same time, it shows that he's willing to get up there and run support and stick his nose in there. Um, and you mentioned, too, what he was able to do with his legs on the ground in terms of broken plays, making things happen. So, um, you know, when he's able to do those kinds of things, it, it makes things difficult on opposing defenses, that's for sure. You mentioned you struggled a little bit to, to run the football, and you gave a lot of credit to your opponent last Friday night. What are the things that you potentially can do to get a little bit more consistency in the running game? Yeah, I mean, I think we it's reps. Um, it's reps and really breaking down the detail and practice of assignments and those types of things. But, you know, at the end of the day, Darren, um, I think they they made the choice to to take away the run game just with sheer numbers. It's a numbers game. Um, and so the fact that they stacked the box, you know, we just knew that we kind of had to lean on the pass game a little more. And that's what we've always hung our hat on is trying to be balanced. You've heard me say that for years, um, but, you know, it's important to be able to do both because defenses typically aren't being, going to be able to take away both. And so if you can do both, depending on what they're going to take away, um, hopefully you can get the job done with the other. And we were able to do just enough of that through the air there on Friday night. And within the passing game itself, how important is it to establish multiple threats so they can't just take one receiver away and uh, slow down your passing game? Yeah, that's a monster aspect of it as well, because, um, you know, if you can have a variety of guys that get involved, it keeps the defense on their toes. It, it allows you to not tip your hand in what you like to do in different situations. And so that's something that you develop as the season goes on, too, and hopefully develop um, those second, third and fourth options and that type of stuff. So it's a huge part of uh, what we try to do um, so that we can get a variety of guys involved and have multiple weapons. And so hopefully we continue to develop that aspect. And this week, uh, your home opener uh, is homecoming. Uh, that's something you normally don't see, but that's what you're dealing with uh, this week as the Houston Hurricanes come to town. What are you expecting out of them? Yeah, looking at the film, they they do what they've always done in terms of the way they play is extremely physical. I think, you know, one of their biggest strengths is the way they fire off the ball and play with leverage in terms of playing low with their pad level. And so they create a big challenge um, they do a good job of controlling the ball, controlling the clock, and they're just physical, aggressive kids. You know, I think that starts at the top um, with their coach, Cody Hungerholt. He does a nice job of just having those guys ready every week, and they just play that physical brand of ball. So, 
you know, hopefully our guys are up to the challenge. Um, you know, a, a, a big thing this week is going to be stopping the run. Okay. Defensively, we need to do a, a real nice job of that. And then for them, when they're on defense, they really do get after the quarterback. They're physical, aggressive, uh, fast. So they present a big challenge and yeah, homecoming a little earlier than usual this year, but I know our guys will be jacked up and ready to go. And it should be a fantastic, uh, homecoming Friday night there. And the weather's looking good as well. And hopefully it's a, a lion victory uh, come Friday night as well. Coach, we wish you best of luck. Keep your guys healthy. And hopefully we're talking about a 2-0 and lion team next week. Sounds good. Thanks a lot, Darren. Cody Moore, head coach of the Spring Grove Lions, Lions, and Hurricanes Friday night in Spring Grove.